Busy day here in Tucson for South Point Catholic High School as the Lancers had four student athletes make it official putting pen to paper, including three of those four who are headed to Power 5 programs. I mean, it's been a lot, especially the last couple of days, my phone's getting blown up uh, with the defensive back coach leaving and stuff. I mean, a lot of other colleges have blown my phone up and Coach Dave been calling me literally three times a day, so it's been a lot, but I mean, it felt good this morning to finally get up and uh, sign those papers. I mean, Ohio State's known uh, for the best DBs and I feel that I'm a top DB and I think I should go there and it will help develop me to be the best I could possibly be. And then the family feel, I mean, I don't feel like there was any other place that I felt really in the family and the brotherhood of Ohio State. So walking on campus, I think I was 6'1", 6'2", 160, 170 pounds. College football was like an ideal for me. Like that was a dream. I didn't think I was ever going to be standing right here having just signed my NLI for UCLA. Uh, this day is just, like I said, it's an accumulation of so much. You know, at South Point, you know, it, it teaches you how to be, like you said, a young man. Um, uh, even to become a, like an adult, you know, they, they teach you how to be an adult. Um, you know, the education for college, you know, the, the college prep at that school is, is huge. And then, you know, the football program, what we've been doing these last three or four years is, you know, what I want, I wanted the most. The Lancers had an incredible season, qualifying for the Open 8 playoffs and pushing the eventual state champion Chandler Wolves to the brink in the state semifinals. Now let's go to Devin Henry, who's at Notre Dame Prep in North Scottsdale. Well, today Saints are proving that they can not only be Cowboys, they can be Black Knights, they can be Ivy League bound for that matter. Head coach George Prelock was the freshman coach just a few years ago, and his final freshmen are about to graduate and sign Division I and play football at the college level. Honestly, I don't think any other class can you know, ever be able to say something like that. You know, we had our freshman coach transition all the way through us you know, to our senior year and be our coach. And honestly, it means the world, especially to have someone like him, because he's not just a coach. You know, he's a great mentor. He's a great friend. And, you know, he's all these things that you would hope to have in someone like him. So it's, it's really been special. I would say today is just really the just everything that I've done throughout my high school career, just kind of coming into one day, one second, just signing. And um, I'm just so blessed to be in this, in this position. I just want to thank all my coaches, my family, my teammates, the four, stand, the four of us standing up there, most importantly, um, and just like thank God. It meant a lot to me, you know, uh, I've worked pretty hard. I've been doing this for a long time, and this is a big moment in my life, so I'm, I'm really excited about it. I'm just excited to get in that weight room, you know. The college weight room's different. I'm excited to get to work. Uh, and just hopefully become a starter as soon as possible. It's been a big decision. It's been a long process. So um, obviously I, I love the opportunity that school possesses. So finally putting, you know, like I said, pen to paper, it really kind of solidifies that and makes me excited for the next couple months. Well, this past graduating class in Notre Dame Prep Saints have kind of shown that there's plenty of recruits here potentially for out-of-state schools and, of course, in-state schools as well. Now let's head on over to Sandy Charles with your Open Division champions, the Chandler Wolves, with some big signees as well today. Thanks, Devin. A chapter closes for these seniors, but also at the same time, a new one opens on signing day. Safety Gunnar Maldonado is heading to Northwestern. Linebacker Malik Reed is also heading to the Big Ten to play for the University of Wisconsin. They're friends on the field, they've grown up together, and now they're going to play against each other in college. Um, it's going to be really fun. I mean, we've been competing with each other since since forever ago. So, I mean, it'll be it'll be like we're, u we're used to competing against each other, but it'll definitely be fun on the big stage. So I'm excited for that. It's going to be crazy. You know, we're still going to be friends. We play. We won't ever like go against each other because we both play defense. But it's just awesome to see, you know, I've been my freshman year coming here with them. Like I never thought that we'd be playing each other in college in the Big Ten. So it's, it's just it's a blessing. Now Day Day Hunter burst onto the Arizona high school football scene after transferring from Colorado earlier this season. He finished the year off with over 1700 rushing yards and now he's headed off to the University of Hawaii. Um, I went on the official last weekend. It was everything I could ask for. I felt the love. I saw the beautiful place and I believe in what they have going in the program. They have a great program. And it's really, it really felt like home. And then after, I, after the visit, I just couldn't see myself going to any other school. And that's when I knew that was the right decision. Best of luck to all the seniors and everyone continuing their education. We're going to send it back to the studio. Brad, back to you.